All right, back again with some Minecraft. So, just gonna go through a quick overview of where we are with everything. Um, I have started working on some of these columns. Um, so, what I'm going to do, I'm using polished, um, whatever this is. Um, how do you pronounce it? Uh, I don't even know how to pronounce this stuff. Uh, andesite? And andesite? I'm sure it's a real rock. Anyway. Um, these polished columns. We're gonna put some uh, torches around here. Um, like I said, I'm doing this like kind of like tiered shape, so it's gonna be this balcony around here. That you can see how this is actually gonna be the ceiling. Um, but right now I got some fun stuff, some boom boom sticks, some good old TNT. So what I'm going to do is try to blast out some stuff just for fun, for shits and giggles. Um, we'll go through it. Blast out some um, some mountains. Yep, we're gonna blast some mountains away for fun. Boom and. Some plant charges down there. So let's see how that looks. Yep, look at that. That's how you blast away some mountains right there. <laughs> Might as well do some blasting, some controlled demolition. This is far enough from the tower that it doesn't really matter um, how ugly it looks. It's actually faster than digging if you do it this way, it just makes it messy. But hey. Two, two, two. This is gonna be the explosive episode, or I'll just kind of blow up shit. That's all it's gonna be. Let's see. Let's light that one right there. It'll drop down when I light it. So if I ignite it, see it drops all the way down, and. Missed a chunk. Nope. It went. It just lag. <laughs> well, that's how you get rid of a mountain one way. So there you go. That mountain's almost done. 
Not much of there to... Let's see. Hopefully I didn't blow up anything. Nope, looks like everything's intact for the actual tower itself. I'll finish up doing the columns in like kind of the first floor look. Um, and then we'll call it a night. But um, most of what I've been doing offline is just clearing, clearing, and more clearing. Um, as you can tell, I've cleared more. It just takes forever to dig these mountains out. This is too close to blow. Otherwise, they're you know, kick back and pull up some of the tower. I've also started clearing out this this line right here. This is gonna be the outer uh, wall of the tower gardens. So I have to clear all this out for the tower gardens. This is a behemoth that's gonna take me forever to clear. It's so one of these days. I, I don't do that while I'm streaming just cause it is just tedious and annoying. But I'll finish this balcony up. Just to kind of show you guys. I'll finish the first floor tonight. Um, show you what it'll kind of look like once it's all said and done. So that's going to be tonight's goal. Let's just finish the first floor. Show you what I mean by this uh, vaulted ceiling. Oh, lag. Oh, stop. Kind of how the how that this will look. <laughs> so we also put a fence around here to kind of make it look like a balcony. Um, put these columns up. So I'm spacing out every five, so you can see 20. give this idea of what it's gonna look like um, and then so every five spot I'll actually do like a um, this is what the torch structure is gonna look like and this will be on every column like that so you can see all the columns going around you see the gap of the columns is because it's where the entrance is going to be um, like I said there are gonna be rooms in here as well this is all not just gonna be one giant room um, but also just to show you that depth um, so let's move out to 15. Yeah, that sounds good. And I'll go back to the, show you how high the ceilings are gonna be. So if I can use my controller tonight, there you go. So that's how high the first ceilings, first floor ceilings gonna be. Um, if I use this thing, pure, pure, I like the sound of it, pure, 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 pure. That's cool. The purple Aja. Uh, purple, purple. Um, so that's the stairs. Um, you know, one thing that Tree had suggested is doing like a center um, kind of spiral. And I might do that still. Um, but I want to have this kind of look here of, I don't know, maybe like having coming in, let's see, at 50. So like this is center line. Like coming up and maybe having like stairs go up like that. Um, maybe have a landing and then branch off two different ways. I don't know. You guys let me know what you think of these thoughts. I'm not, sure, I'm not married to this color, by the way, either. I'm just screwing around. Um, let me let me just see what this looks like. Maybe go three. And then... Um, And then have a landing. I don't know. Let's go up like that. Um, so 
something like that when it comes up, and then just for sake, I mean, I'll probably do an actual, um, like, same color brick or something like that. But then do something like that for a landing, and then have these go up the rest of the way. So, let me just see what this looks like. Sometimes half this game is just kind of designing things and then seeing what it looks like. Get something in your head. And then uh, you put it down and it's like, no, that doesn't look right. Um, but something like this. Place. Right. Apparently it won't let me place, but... Um, Oh uh, yeah, for sake of example, let's let's build this across so I can see where the second floor will actually be. Get perspective. That way I can get perspective on this thing. That last one didn't go on right. <laughs> Upside down. There we go. I'm just going to take these out. Because I want to kind of have this magical floating look. Like I said I did it. Um, of course, like I said, I'll have this different color. That would be probably the same color as this brick right here, but at least for sake of, um, I just want to see what this looks like. It's so like walking the front door and seeing that go up either side like that. Um, I, I don't hate it. Um, so then, okay, just build this out. Now I'm curious. I might get that up an extra stair. Let's see, it's one, two, three, four, five, and three. So I could do four and four. So I have four up, landing, four up. Um, I don't necessarily hate it. I don't like the color. Definitely not gonna do stairs like this. But I don't hate the design. Um, especially then you can have this open like this. So as a pitcher, I just, some, for some reason, I don't even know if this is book canon, but I have pictures of, like, men coming in in the beginning of Shadow Rising and, like, Aes Sedai up here looking down in their opening waiting room. So, like, that's just how I picture it. Um, like I said, I don't like this this color. I'm going to probably do different. I want to play around with my color palette. Uh, I mean, we have lots of stairs to choose from. Want to go something lighter? You know, all these different stair colors. Um... Do these these cooler designs? I don't know. Um, oxidized copper stairs or waxed copper. Lots of copper, cut copper, um, blackstone, mm, crimson, warp stairs. 
So, sandstone. Um, yeah, there's a brick. I can just do brick. That's classy, right? Um, oh, granite. Oh, and I just went to the bottom. Um, so that granite, granite, I just don't know if the granite's going to be marble looking enough, because granite in this game is just redstone. I mean, that's what it looks like. So, I'll show you, like, a polished red, polished granite is, uh, let's move that down to here. Let's kind of show you that difference. That's what the polished granite looks like. This is where I want suggestions from you guys. So when you watch this YouTube video, um, here, I want to do a couple of them just to kind of, let's pick colors tonight. Um, I'll throw out a couple of designs. I mean, it could just be stand, standard. I don't want to be wood. Wood's boring. Um, so we do have redstone, red sandstone. So let's, let's go ahead and place some of these and let's just see how this looks. Sandstone, yeah. Uh, we'll do some brick. Um, mm, you know, this is kind of an off-white color. Um, the, the dorite. Quartz is way too close to concrete to white. Um, it'll just blend too much in the walls. I want some kind of contrast. Where are the pure pure? Um, I'm just going to place a bunch of stairs. And you guys let me know in the comments. Which one do you think is best? I want to stay from black. Not to be confused with the black Aja. Um, we already got some oxidized. Maybe some crimson? Uh, sounds too red Aja to me, but... Eh, we'll just put some down just to, for the sake of shits and giggles. Um, Alright. So let's go ahead and put down all these stairs. And you guys decide which one you guys like the best. Break. All right. All right. So crimson is actually be a wood finish, like it's same the same as this board right here. Um, so it's a purplish. Let's see. So there you go. There's your palette. To choose from, and you got the the purple or the purple, right there. So, what should my stair be? And we'll do it as a. Let's just do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So you have ten, ten options to choose from, or A through J. Either way works. I can do alphanumeric. Um, let me know in the comments what kind of stairs I should use. I'm not married to this purple. Actually, now that I put it down, I don't like it. So if you choose J, I'll do it. Or ten, but... Um, Honestly, I like some of these other ones better. Um, that kind of looks cool. I like that that idea that, or even this one, um, the aqua look, or even that one, any of the aqua look ones. Brick is fine too. Remember, the floor is not going to stay the same color. I'm probably going to put carpet down. I'm looking at maybe doing like a, I don't know, a herringbone <laughs> pattern. Um, I thought about that. I used to even put down some in the corner over here. I think, yeah, I put that one piece of red carpet, but like maybe doing like a different, like all the different ajas and doing a harem bone. Um, and if it, you guys don't know what harem bone is, just in case, let me go ahead and uh, get some carpet and show you guys what a harem bone looks like. Um, so we're gonna just pick a bunch of carpet. Um, the gray Aja, we'll do the seven Ajas, just, just, just for shits and giggles. Yellow Aja, green Aja, blue Aja, alright, one, two, three, four, five, which one am I missing? Got red, blue, Green, yellow, gray, white. There's seven Ajas. Brown. <laughs> Baron. Brown Aja. All right. So, to show you guys what a heron bone looks like, I'll go out here with this more light. So, what a heron bone would be would be like that. And then, 
alternate like that. So. it up uh it goes like this nope so you don't do two in a row like that so it's blue would be right boom then brown so that's a hair and bone so you can kind of do that pattern throughout the entire and it gives it gives us nice texture patios often have tons of hair and bone uh, if you ever see like brick patios that's a very common pattern to use to do on patios um, it's a lot more pleasant than I'm this spiral design that I have going on right now where the lines start to just kind of um, so idea um, guys let me know what you think about that I could stick to one particular color um, that kind of stay true to the Aja's too um, so you have four and three and I can just do that throughout the entire tower see what it looks like also I could just play it down uh, for you guys at some point see what it looks like like I said I'm using these YouTube videos kind of as your as a sounding board for you guys um, this will probably all gone next time I do another video but what do you guys think so two things to decide tonight let's uh let's make it two things besides me blowing a whole bunch of crap um, stairs once again give you guys one more look remember this is coming in like this Coming in from the south. And this is going to be your stair system. May 4 and 4. So um, I could also do a landing at a different tile than this, but just kind of a sick of example. Look like that. There'll be like kind of an opening and a balcony right there. Um, this will all be ceiling, but this will kind of have an opening right here where someone could stand and look. And I'll put a fence up. So it'd be kind of like a railing. Um, look down upon people entering in um probably put some benches and stuff like that around and some like tables um kind of make it look like a sitting area yeah um the opening room will probably be around this will probably be the back wall right here um it'll probably go to right here then there'll be side passageways and hallways going down over here to the Frenagias and then maybe in the center rooms it goes to the center staircase and I might do a spiral. Center one's not as important right now. This is the big ones I want. Do you guys like what stair design? And then herringbone, Aja's carpet, yes, no, suggestions for other designs. Happy to take suggestions. But that's it to this time for this time. So until next time guys. Peace.